Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video we're going to use the corn dog maker to make pigs in a blanket. But before we begin, a quick disclaimer. We're going to be using about a tablespoon of log cabin sugar-free syrup in this video. This syrup contains sorbitol, a sugar alcohol that has a glycemic index of 9. Now I've had a fair amount of this stuff in recipe testing, and it's never knocked me out of ketosis. My blood glucose readings on a daily basis rarely go above the mid 80s, so it hasn't affected me, but every individual is different. So it's up to you if you decide that you want to do a blood glucose testing uh, and see if sorbitol affects you, or if you want to wait. In the upcoming weeks, I'm going to be doing a review of a number of different syrups that have different sweeteners in them, including some stevia-based and allulose-based syrups. But with that out of the way, let's get to making ourselves some pigs in a blanket. As with all of my batter-based recipes, we're going to be using the food processor method. We'll start with one half cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one quarter cup of Birch Bender's Paleo. The reason we're using the Paleo instead of the Keto is it just has a much more pancakey flavor and it only adds less than one net gram of carbs per pig in a blanket. We then have two teaspoons of coconut flour and one half teaspoon of baking powder. Pulse this six to eight times until it's the consistency of breadcrumbs. Then we'll add two whole eggs, large, and a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. Process until you have a smooth batter. Then, to make pouring the batter easy, either transfer it to a piping bag or a sandwich bag. Seal the bag, squeezing out as much air as you can. Then we'll snip off a corner and set this aside with a hole up so it doesn't leak out while we preheat our corn dog maker. Now, every time I've tried to do this, from my point of view, I screw it up. So we're just going to do it from the side. You'll get the picture. Use your piping bag to fill each one of the cavities between halfway and two-thirds of the way full. Then we're going to take some pre-cooked sausages. These are the Jones brand, so it's like one carb every five sausages. And push them down into the batter so it starts to come up around the sides. Then we'll stream another bead of batter on top of each sausage. And close it up. It has been right about seven minutes. The steam is starting to settle down. Let's pop these guys out. And we'll let these cool for about two to three minutes. And the taste test. This is practically a self-contained McGriddle. And that gives me an idea for another recipe. I mean, look at how cakey that is. That is a pancake batter right there. We'll give it a little dunk in some syrup. This is absolutely a pancakes and sausage experience that will make you forget you're on keto. Two net grams of carbs per serving, which is one pig in a blanket. Hmm. 
I'm gonna keep coming at you with these corn dogger sort of videos. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you wanna be notified whenever I release a new video, click the bell next to it. Thanks for watching.